we want to solve the given equation, and because 3.16d means 3.16 times d, the solution is a value of d that makes 8.21 plus 3.16 times d equal to 18.7644. When solving an equation that contains decimals, we have the option of leaving the decimals in the equation and solving the equation in its given form, or a second method would be to multiply both sides of the equation by a value that would clear the decimals from the equation. In this video, we'll be solving the equation in its current form with the decimals in the equation. So we want to solve the equation 8.21 plus 3.16d equals 18.7644. Because we can solve this equation in two steps, this equation is often called a two-step equation because we can isolate the variable d in two steps. The first step is to use addition or subtraction to isolate the variable term. We need to be careful here because it might be tempting to subtract 3.16 on both sides of the equation, but that will not work because the 3.16 is attached to the variable d by multiplication. But we can undo or eliminate 8.21 by subtracting 8.21 on both sides of the equation. So for the first step, we'll subtract 8.21 on both sides of the equation. Subtracting 8.21 on the left undoes the positive 8.21. Then we perform the same operation on the left side, but we need to make sure we line up the corresponding place values so we can accurately subtract. So simplifying, again on the left, 8.21 minus 8.21 is zero. So we're left with 3.16d on the left. On the right, we need to subtract. If it's helpful, we can put a zero in the thousandths and ten thousandths place value. Before subtracting, move the decimal point down to the difference, and now subtract. Four minus zero is four. Four minus zero is four. Six minus one is five. Seven minus two is five. Eight minus eight is zero. And we still have a one in the tens place value. The second step is to multiply or divide in order to solve for the variable d. And again, because 3.16d means 3.16 times d, to undo multiplying by 3.16, our second step is to divide both sides by 3.16. Again, on the left side, dividing by 3.16 undoes multiplying by 3.16. And therefore, the left side simplifies to d. This is also 3.16 divided by 3.16, which equals 1. 1 times d is d. And therefore, a solution is equal to the quotient on the left. Let's find this quotient on the side. So we have 10.5544 divided by 3.16. The first step is to make the divisor a whole number. To make 3.16 a whole number, we multiply by 100, which is the same as moving the decimal point to the right two places. So one, two, and we can do this as long as we do the same to the dividend. Multiplying the dividend by 100 is the same as moving the decimal point to the right two places, one, two. So the decimal point is now here, which you move up into the quotient and divide like we normally do. So the first thing we need to do is determine how many 316s are in 1,055. And there are three 316s in 1,055. Now we multiply. Three times six is 18. From an exchange with the one, three times one is three, plus one is four, and three times three is nine. Now we subtract. If this difference is less than 316, the three is correct. Subtracting, we need to perform an exchange here. So 15 minus 8 is 7, 4 minus 4 is 0, and 10 minus 9 is 1. Because 107 is less than 316, the 3 is correct. Bring down the next digit, which is 4. And now we need to determine how many 316s are in 1,074, which again is going to be 3. We already know 3 times 316 is 948. Subtracting. From an exchange here, 14 minus 8 is 6, 6 minus 4 is 2, and 10 minus 9 is 1. 
Again, 126 is less than 316, so the 3 is correct. Bring down the next digit, which is 4. And now we need to determine how many 316s are in 1,264. Well, we know 3 times 316 is 948, so let's see if there are 4 316s in 1,264. So multiplying, we have 4 times 6, that's 24. Perform an exchange with the 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. And 4 times 3 is 12. Notice how there are exactly 4 316s in 1,264. Subtracting the difference is 0, and therefore the quotient is 3.34, meaning the solution to the equation is d equals 3.34. Before we go, let's check our work by substituting 3.34 into the equation for d to make sure it satisfies the equation. Forming the substitution, we would have 8.21 plus 3.16 times 3.34 equals 18.7644. Let's evaluate the left side of the equation using a calculator. So 8.21 plus 3.16 times 3.34 is equal to 18.7644, and therefore our solution is correct. The left side is equal to 18.7644, and so is the right side. This is our check to verify our solution is correct. And if you are interested, we'll solve this equation again in the next video by first eliminating the decimals from the equation. I hope you found this helpful.